hey guys welcome back to program hub and today in this video we'll be talking about like should you as a developer be switching to the new macbook m1 pro or m1 max so now here's my complete perspective like this from being a developer so we had been using this like macbook air since around three to four months now and it has been a very powerful machine by the way for all the uses that we had been doing so specifically like talking into the terms of development so we don't see any major need for the change because the machine that we have currently is just efficient enough to provide you with all the things like if you're into android development if you're into something like into react native so you can very easily set up all the environments and you can just have a very free flow into it. So we don't see any major reason over here like why you should be switching from the M1 to the M1 Pro. So as being a developer, you don't specifically need the power of the M1 Pro because what we currently have into the M1 is just efficient for being a developer and especially if you're a beginner or intermediate developer, so this is this machine is has got just everything for you there is no specific need by the way and also if we just have a look towards like being into the side of an creative creative side if you're a digital content creator as well just like me so i would be saying it to you one thing like we had been also testing this machine for video rendering uh, like we had been continuously been editing the video into a row for since months and we haven't found any issues specifically with the video rendering as well and or the video editing because we had been editing 4k videos into a row since a couple of months right now and we haven't found any major issue for which this machine has ever lagged behind or ever got stuck anywhere or got bricked so there had been no situation so this machine M1 is already a very good machine that we already have. So if you being a developer are thinking that and you have just recently got your new MacBook Air M1 or MacBook Pro M1 and you have been now thinking that ah, I have an old machine now. So there is clearly like this is what I can say to you that if you are a developer and if you have the M1 machine so don't be onto the downside of thinking like I don't have the latest machine you already have the best of what you can get so this machine is still powerful and it is still the best and if I have to make a choice for being a developer I'll go with this machine either because this machine has got everything to serve you as a developer you don't need to go to the M1 Pro by the way we are getting the M1 Pro really soon so just to test out what's the difference between the performance between this machine and the M1 Pro. So we are we have already booked that and it's arriving very soon to us. So we'll be actually testing out the benchmarks. We'll be actually testing out the results and the differences between the two machines. So guys, if you're really interested into it and if you want me to check it out for any specific software or any specific environment, do comment it down below and let me know that for which software or which environment do you want me to check it out. So guys, that's a quick and short update for all of you. Meet you into the next episode till then. Goodbye.